Okay, in this quick video, we're gonna apply polar coordinates to find the limit of a multivariable function as X and Y are approaching the origin. So let's just recall uh, the definition for polar coordinates. So we generally set X equal to R cosine theta, Y is equal to R sine theta, which makes X squared plus Y squared equal to R squared. And then if X and Y are approaching the origin, that means that R is approaching zero from the right, and theta is somewhat of a free variable. So now sometimes you can get into a little bit of a problem with this theta, but generally it's okay. All right, so now let's look at this one. This is obviously set up for doing polar coordinates perfectly because X squared plus Y squared is the only way that we see X and Y in this limit. Okay, so here we get that this is the same thing as the limit as r goes to 0 from the right of e to the minus r squared minus 1 over r squared. Good. But now we can use L'Hopital's rule for this. Notice that's going to give us the same thing as the limit as r goes to 0 from the right of minus 2r e to the minus r squared over 2r. Great, just by taking the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, in other words, L'Hopital's rule. But now, notice, we can cancel uh, the numerator and the denominator here, um, and that's going to give us the limit as r goes to zero from the right of minus e to the minus r squared, but that's going to be equal to minus one kind of clearly. Okay, good. So now I wanna clean the board and show you a problem which almost works uh, for this uh, type of substitution, but not quite. Okay, so another problem that we might want to look at is the limit as x, y goes to the origin of x squared plus y squared over x plus y. So it seems like maybe we could do the same substitution here, and we'll try, but we'll see where um, it ends up being a little bit sticky. So this is the same thing as the limit as r goes to zero from the right of r squared over r cosine theta plus r sine theta using this polar uh, coordinate substitution. But now we can factor an r out of the denominator, cancel with the numerator, and we get r over cosine theta plus sine theta, which you might think that's going to be equal to zero, and it will be equal to zero unless uh, cosine theta uh, plus sine theta itself equals zero, in which case we have a zero in the denominator. Now, uh, there's a way around this in order to calculate the limit, but I'm not gonna do this in that, I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'll leave that for you to think about. Okay, here we're done. 